This is called Hell Valley. The tap you see over there is the result of the last Vesuvius eruption, which, as you know, took place in 1944. It was during the Second World War. Almost every major volcanic eruption occurred in volcanoes that had stayed dormant for centuries, as was the case with Vesuvius in 79. That eruption was really quite devastating. In fact, an entire village was destroyed, precisely San Sebastiano. Everybody stay calm! Oh! And over the centuries, there have been many cases where those dormant volcanoes Professor, look, have... look, look! Earthquake! Everyone, stay calm! It was quite a jolt on the scale. I'll go to the observatory and call you. Good idea. Hey, Harold. Let's get out of here. Harold. Harold, do you hear me? Harold. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. Harold, what's happened there? Well, there's intense gaseous activity. Not normal for this crater. I'm going to collect some CO2s to be analyzed. All right, but you better come back soon. It's getting late. Don't worry. Pedro, come on. OK, go. All right, Pedro. Stay close to me. OK. Let's go and measure next to this fumarole. I'm getting tired. Harold, you completed the geophysics tests. You need to come back to camp. Yeah, right. Listen. The carbon dioxide is too high in the fumarole. And the pressure's changing the magnetic field. Oh, what's going on? Oh, hang on! Hang on! You okay? Uh, I think the, the leg. Give me a hand. Here. I'll help you. I don't think it's broken. There they are. I see them. They're coming out of the crater. I said relax. Think about that tomorrow. Please, come with us. This is the tail end. The strongest tremor reached 3.2 on the scale. In Naples, they even felt it on the lower floors. Rome wants to know if there's any danger. We're looking at the possible need uh, for a mass evacuation. We prefer to avoid such measures, but further study is needed. Will there be another one? Another event? Not likely. In the short term. What do you mean by short term? Weeks, maybe months. That's him. Man. 
You must be Patricia. Yes, correct. They sent me to welcome you and rush you to Vesuvius. They're waiting for us. Okay. Great. Anjali didn't tell me he had such a good-looking assistant. Is that important? Anjali's a serious scholar, and we are here to work. No doubt. Mind if we grab a coffee before we get there? about the ground temperature. What will happen? I don't know. I only know that all scientists agree that the next eruption will come soon, and it will be much more destructive than the one that took out Pompeii. But if this is it, I don't know. Dr. Mann, I'm with Civil Protection. The professor is up on the main crater. Thanks. Nice to meet you. You too. The Prime Minister is expecting an answer. What do we tell him? You tell the Prime Minister that we just don't know. And if your boss likes to ask so many questions, why don't you ask him who engineered the disaster below? Harold! Sorry for being so rude with you before. No problem. Welcome. <laughs> this is Dr. Mann, Dr. Rossi, Dr. Hi. Castelli. Hi. This is it? Well, we don't know. It all happened in short sequences. Take a look. What do you think? Have you measured the temperature? 80 degrees. Aye. And the concentration of carbon dioxide in the gaseous mass? Yes, 10%. That's not bad. In my opinion, it's a false alarm, well within the parameters of normality. I think it's premature. As a matter of fact, I'm absolutely certain. Why exclude the possibility of further seismic activity? Um, it's easy to read the data, and I know how to read them. For that matter, so do I. So does everybody else here. You see, Doctor, in volcanology, as in all subjects, there can be differences of opinion. But certainty derives from hands-on experience. Which is not always the broad road to truth. We're all under pressure. Rome is breathing down our necks. They want answers as if we had a crystal ball. Tell them not to worry. At least for the time being. Having dinner with me? No, I can't tonight, but Patricia might be free. Is that okay with you, Patricia? Of course, be glad to. Patricia, earlier you wouldn't allow me my espresso. I hope tonight you won't force me to fast. Here is the wine you selected. I distrust those who palm off certainties and have a weak answer for everything. It's our profession that requires it. Our profession requires knowledge and seriousness. You don't see me as someone to take seriously, do you? It's obvious I'm not high on your popularity list. So we have two options. The first is you can split. No need to stay and suffer. And the second? I'd be sorry <laughs> to see you walk away. Plus, uh, you haven't had your shrimp. <laughs> Peace? Why did you want to come here? To understand and remember. Right. Man learns nothing from tragedy. He has an amazing ability to forget things in a hurry. And to continue making mistakes. Here's the proof. We have all this staring at us. Yet under that volcano, 800,000 people continue to build and live. 
When I was a girl, I used to come and study here. Pompeii's history, its rise, its destruction, rediscovery, the excavations. I'd imagine life back then, the loves, the battles. It all seems so plausible to me, like a novel. Come on. Look at those two. He seems to be protecting her. I personally think they were lovers. Look how he's holding her. The gesture of a new love. Of a man who's lost his heart. Don't tell me you know their story. I know their story, and the story of everyone here. For example, look at that. Look what's written here. Can you see the inscription? Alpheus was a slave and gladiator merchant. Wonderful. Now tell me a story and all about the two lovers. Give me a minute. The summer of 79 was terribly hot. Pompeii was about to be reborn after the destruction of yet another earthquake. But I see where Alpheus was coming from afar. Cargo is ready. All right, we can move forward now. I need water. Sit down! I'm thirsty! Can I go oh, now? Go. Of course. Go. What are you waiting for? Go. The arena in Pompeii is waiting just for you. Just stay calm. Careful with the merchandise in the cart. It's a considerable investment for me. Don't worry, Master. I trust business went well. Yes, it did. But the next time, I'm going to take you with me. I don't like the thought of you here at home, enjoying yourself while I'm off, away, sweating, swatting at flies. The slave girls are waiting for you. Go on. Go.
You look handsome like this. <laughs> oh, Tito Inez. <laughs> How I have missed this. Now, tell me everything that has happened in Pompeii during my absence. The emperor has sent Caius to govern the city. Oh, I shall pay him a visit. I have brought him a gift. A gift? Mm. A gift that will cost him at least uh, 3,000 sesterces. But why so much attention being leveraged on the new slave girl? Is she important? Yes, I paid quite a lot for her. No one knows her name or where she's from. She's very refined and proud, too. Mm. Keep her in a room away from the other slaves. And don't put her to work. And then send Helen to the gym. Very well, master. Mm. 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 considerable effort into it, or you'll be the first to die. My job is to teach you to fight. Your job is to learn to stay alive. Don't be too hard on him, Marzio. Gladiators! Gladiators, you are here to fight and to die. With skill and courage or luck, you can hope to live up to three or four, maybe, even five years. But it is very rare, almost as rare as one of you winning his freedom. Your trainer, Marzio, was once a gladiator like you, but now he's a free man. Why? Because he always defeated, always killed his opponents for 10 years. You should learn from him. Master? Sweet Helen, what a pleasure. Did you miss me? I missed you, Master. You know I don't want you to call me that. Pour me some wine. Was your journey to the Orient tiring, my lord? Tiring, yes, but profitable. I did good business, especially in Thracia. You think you can play the rebel in here? What's your name? Darius. From this moment on, you'll simply be known as Thracian. Now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh. Oh. I paid good money for him. Come, Tigerinus. And give them good, nourishing food. They have to keep their strength up. Leave your weapons and go upstairs to eat. The slave girls will feed you. Then you go for a training run. Go! Come on! Here you are. Forgive me. Foolish slave, I could have you fed to the eels for this. Guards! So, I see you have a protector. If that's the way things are, then he will pay for you. Thank you. 
Let me put some ointment on it for you. It hurts quite a bit. I'll give you a massage. You'll feel better. And what are these 2,000 sesterces for? It's my fee, master. As we agreed if I managed to sell the two gladiators. <laughs> Don't you remember? No. And I'm in no mood to argue. You're a clever rascal, but you've become indispensable to me. Master, I would never cheat you. You wanted to see me? Yes, Marzio. Tell me. Do you think the new gladiators will be ready to fight at the feast? You mean the Thracian? Him in particular. He has character and spirit, but there's a problem. We must intervene. Oh. What problem? The Thracian's in love. In love with whom? Helen. Helen? Are you sure? Absolutely. He took a whipping in her place. Bring Helen to me. Right away. They must be punished. I'll see to it. You called me, Master? Are you in love with a Thracian? <laughs> Don't be afraid. Answer me. I have seen him only in the arena. That is all, Master. I heard he took a whipping for you. How do you explain that? <laughs> I see, stubborn as always. Well, bring me some wine. Immediately, Master. She's in love. We must separate them, frighten them. Have you never loved Marzio? I first earned my freedom, and love came only after that, as Roman law dictates. Master, bad news. <laughs> now what? Chariots are approaching. So? It's Caius. I hope his sister's not with him. Yes, I'm afraid Lavinia is with him. Then let us go and greet them. Returned, my rich merchant. And without stopping by to salute your consul. Forgive me, dear Caius. I had planned to do so tomorrow, but you know how things are when one has been away so long. <laughs> Gracious Lavinia, you have become the most beautiful woman in all of Rome. And you haven't lost your talent for exaggeration, Albius. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember General Galenus? General. Please, my friends. So, was your tour of the colonies fruitful? It was very successful, my lord, as you shall see with your own eyes. Ah, what is it? A surprise. A surprise? Stay. Yeah. I shall hold a feast in your honor. Thank you. The greatest you have ever seen. Come. My humble home is yours. Thank you, Helen. You were so good. Thank you. I actually don't see that she's all that good. Bring us some wine. But not our best wine. Mm. Wait. You'd better bring the best. No. Do bring the other. They can't tell the difference anyway. Mm. It's so good. Yes, but let us save some for the others. I was so hungry. Hello, Hermes. Drink. <laughs> Let's hope the new consul will lower our 
prices and taxes, Hermes. All they think about is enjoying life. Lucky them. Banquets and beautiful women. And I have mm. to make do with your expensive wine. Well, say hello to Leisha. Mm. When is the baby due? During the fest, I hope. During the fest? Mm -hmm. That's a good omen, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Have enough. I don't want to run out of food. Fear not, Master. We have more than 40 courses. And the wine? Actually, we've got the best. Good. Only the best. Very. Greetings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now then, Albus, what of my surprise? Oh, you can't wait, can you, my friend? I'd like to see it before I'm too blindly drunk. Don't you like my food? <laughs> You're a rascal. <laughs> to trade it. It's too bulky. Not here. Please come with me. So? Bring the sword. Then you die for sure. What do you think, Noble I want her. She's a goddess, isn't she? She is beautiful. I want to find out her name. No one knows her name, not even the man who sold her to me. For all I know, she may be a queen from some far-off land. I didn't expect such a pleasant surprise. We must talk. Whenever you wish. But for now, let us drink. Albius, I would like to meet some gladiators. I have a Thracian who is a favorite among my slave girls. Ah. If a slave likes him, so will I. Why did you do it? You really don't know? Yes. I think so. Who are you, Helen? What were you before? I was born on the banks of the Rhine, and I lived there until the day my father was butchered before my very eyes. He was the leader of our people, and he dared to rebel. The Romans showed no mercy, and now, here I am. 
I'm sorry. But without that tragedy, we'd never have met. Our chains are what makes it possible for me to love you. You would never even have looked at me. Me, a poor Thracian farmer, and you, the daughter of the leader of your people. Slavery makes us equal. But love is a sign from the heavens that makes no distinction. Now, tell me something about you. They took me when I was 15. Took me away from my family, from the love of my family. Since then, I've been nothing but a, a piece of merchandise to be bought and sold with no dignity, no freedom. But their evil has strengthened me. Now I have no fear. Helen, come here. I must go. Helen, will you think of me? God to be with you. Consul, the Senites are reluctant to pay any of their taxes. Tell the Senites to pay their taxes, or they'll deal with my legionnaires. Yes, Consul. Wait. And as far as everything else is concerned? They're all free. <laughs> I have my doubts about that. The Christians? They keep to themselves. Are they plotting anything? There is no evidence of that. They pray for their gods like everyone else in Pompeii. Yes, but they are a dangerous sect. You scoundrel! Do you want to see me dead? Your teacher came to complain about your running away from school. Do you know what can happen to you? If they see you wandering around without your mother and father? There are people who get children, put them in a sack, and sell them as slaves in another city. Is that what you want? No, I want to stay with you. Now then, given that our good friend Alpius is with us, what better opportunity to convene the games? The people will applaud you, my lord. <laughs> I want her. You know who I mean. You will always be welcome in my home. You don't understand, Alpius. I want to buy her. What was that? The earth is moving a bit. You'll get used to it like everyone else. She's bewitched me. I have thought of nothing else since I saw her at your house. I was sure of it. 5,000 sesterzi. But, my lord, you will bankrupt me. I paid far more for her. Very well. 10,000 sesterzi. 10,000? Mm -hmm. 
She's yours. Lavinia wants to see the gladiators. We will come to your home before night falls. As you wish, my lord. Pompeians, listen to me. Enough with your dissolute living. Enough of your taking advantage of those in need. The riches which you have unjustly accumulated will turn to ashes in your hands. Leave a life Tidulates. made only of banquets and immorality. Master, you you're here to too. I saw you from over God. there. You're always listening Give to this old fool, aren't you? Needed. What's he saying? This Listen. city has become a den of iniquity. The gods look down upon us. And what do they see? Prostitutes. Harlots. But how do you know, Matthew? You are blind! Oh, God. The old man is a curse. Whenever I hear him speak, I feel a chill. Give him a coin and let's be on our way. Thank you. How did we do, Antoninus? Five sisters, dear Matthew. The people of Pompeii have become miserly. Maybe because of the drought. Our brothers will be pleased, just the same. Come. Hail, Martyr. Gladiators! Hail, noble Caius. Princess Lavinia, General, I would like to see a fight. Gladiators, line up! Hurry! Please, choose the gladiators yourself. Let my sister choose. Excellent idea. That muscular black. Antiochus. Uh-huh. Good choice, Divine Lavinia. And, uh... That serious, moody one. I suppose he's the one the slave girls like so much. Hmm? Indeed, Divine Lavinia. <laughs> Marzio! Prepare Antiochus and the Thracian. Be careful. Don't be so clumsy. Forgive me, Master. Does it matter? The wine was of poor quality. What are you saying, my lord? I know you too well. The gladiators are ready, my noble lord. Antiochus and the Thracian. Gladiators, salute! Those who are about to die, to die we salute, salute you. Gladiators! <laughs> You were afraid, weren't you, Alpius? I have invested heavily in that man. I want to see him fight uh, Chiladus. Who? Antiochus? No, the Thracian. 
he wouldn't stand a chance. Chaladas is the strongest of them all. Then he will die before Lavinia's lovely eyes. I'm not so sure of it, my lord. I have faced these Thracians in battle. They're a stubborn and rebellious sort. Master, here's the new slave. Well, this is the first time I've ever had a slave without a name or a country. The way you speak tells me that you have had a good education, which is unusual for a woman. <laughs> well, as of today, you no longer live here. The villa of Consul Caius will be your home from now on. You have nothing to say. Your skin is like silk. Yes. You must be a princess. You're strong and intelligent. I can see it in your eyes. You will have Caius eating out of your hand. He likes to give the impression of great strength, but in reality, he's very weak. Come here, woman without a name. You, get out. After what I paid for you, I have no intention of using you as a slave. Alpis was right. Who are you? A slave to be bought and sold. <laughs> Come here. As you wish. I'm not violent. I would like you to be kind to me. I am. But not as a slave with her master. I don't want that. Didn't you feel it? Yes, an earthquake. Perhaps the gods are angry and are punishing us for some wrong we have committed. You're beautiful. Where do you come from? She doesn't know or doesn't want to say. Or maybe she lost her memory. Now go back to bed. No, I'm afraid, brother. And I want to go back to Rome. It won't be long, Lucia. I hope it will be a boy. Yes, blessings. Ready? Remus, look at the sky. They're migrating. Hey, look at the birds. This is worse than hell. Caius, I want to go back to Rome. Please, Lavinia, don't keep reminding me. I'm bored to death here. Galenus, you tell him. My princess. I've never understood whether or not you hate me. My princess, hate you? How can you say such a thing? His attitude is like that of a lover 
Don't you agree, General? A strange way to love. He who loves tries to seduce. And not run away. <laughs> Brother, have you asked the Sibyl for a prophecy? And other soothsayers as well. If the prophecy is against us, we shall return to Rome. Sure. The man's coming. I won't tolerate secrets. I was just telling him that we are in your presence, Consul. Don't do it again. All right, old man. What is happening here in Pompeii? Why are the birds leaving? Are the gods angry with us? I have no idea. They are your gods. You're far more acquainted with them than I am. And why are the birds flying away? I say to you, do as they do. Speak clearly, old man. I want prophecy. I want to know what I should do. You already know. Of course. To begin with, I will sacrifice a bull to Mars, another to Venus. The Sibyl! Do you have a prophecy? Yes, divine one. I studied the bull's innards. What did you see? I saw a city. Our city. Many years into the future. How many? Two thousand years and beyond. Speak. I saw a city famous throughout the world. I saw our streets, our temples, and our arena filled with numerous people from as many countries, speaking different languages. You saw a new Rome. Yes, Divine One. Pear, you hear that, old man? Yes. You Christians are a perverse sect. You love hate, division. You preach martyrdom. I'll be watching you. Warn your friends. Helen, I have terrible news. Darius has to fight Chelidus. When? Next week. I'm sorry. Thank you. Has Alpheus gone to sleep already? I put him to bed. Don't worry. Come here, Darius. One hour, not a minute more. I'm grateful to you. I heard you will be fighting. I feel really sorry for you, Thracian. Really. I was beginning to like you. Here, in this very garden, you asked me if I would think of you every day. And have you? I've done nothing else. And I shall continue to tomorrow and all the days to come. You, dead or alive. So it means you love me? It means I love you. You don't even know what strength you give me. I shall stand against Cheladus as a strong man. I will not die. You're dreaming. We both are dreaming. No, I will not die.
It's your turn. He's your adversary, Chalavis, the Invincible. Remember what I told you. Keep the sun on your back. Those who are about, about to die, to die salute, salute you. you. his life, that son of a whore. There he is. My lord, you're not going to punish the Thracian for disobeying you, are you? You know I cannot. He's a champion, and the people love him. Why did you do it? We're not animals, Marcio. The crowd craves blood, as does the council. Do you know what that means? That you will have to fight him again, and I doubt he'll show you the same mercy. The best Falerno! Get your sins here! Princess! Princess! When I saw you, I thought I was going to faint. Why are you here? Jerusalem no longer exists. But we must be strong. 
We have a place where we celebrate mass. Where? In a cave in the heart of the mountain. When? Tomorrow at dawn. I'll be there. But what about Matthew? Hmm. He'll be there as well. Don't worry, princess. Maria. Just Maria. That's my name. Be careful. Does it hurt? Not anymore. The Roman noblewoman came and asked for you. What did she want? She wants me. And you? Do I have a choice? No. But do you want her? No, Eileen. You're the only one I want. would be you and I and our children living in a house far from here. Far from this evil. You and I alone. Where? There is a house on the hill surrounded by olive trees, fruit trees, a vineyard. You can make out the sea in the distance. You mustn't die in the arena. Promise me you won't. Every night, I'll pray to our Lord Jesus for you. Maria! Ah, Maria. Are you ready to go, Matthew? Yes, come on. Let's go. I know that man. Yes, of course. He's the one that predicted that all people would be eaten. going don't worry you know the master wouldn't like this I'll be back when he's awake Well, Maria. Maria. Who is saying the mass? A disciple of Paul of Tarsus. His name is Thomas. Brothers! 
our Lord Jesus Christ taught us not to be afraid of the Romans. Mm. They persecute us. But we turn the other cheek as our Lord taught us. One day Rome will be annihilated and we'll get the kingdom of the skies. And then we too will live in freedom. Now let us begin the ceremony. The baptism through our Lord Jesus Christ. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Rome will be annihilated, will it? Cursed rebels. What is it you wish me to do, Caius? Arrest them? No, wait. I also want my revenge for... Maria. Maria. I'm entrusting you with the safety of our city. Go. I wish to bathe now. you. You startled me. Why didn't you have me summoned? I thought you were resting. I would have come running. You're a bundle of nerves. Let my hands take care of you. are magical. I've seen very few gladiators like you. Cold, skilled, indomitable. You have a great future. Not as a gladiator, I hope. You fool. Don't you see it's the only way for you to gain your freedom? As long as you win, you will live, and the crowd will acclaim you. No one, not even the emperor, dares to go against the people. It's the first thing I learned when I fought in Rome. Always keep the crowd on your side. Marcia, why are you telling me all this? Because the next time, you will have to kill your opponent. It's what the crowd wants. It's what she wants, too, for you to live. Marcia, send the Thracian to me. The divine Lavinia has come to see you. Slave, bring us something to drink. You look great, gladiator. And merciful, too. Put it there. What are you doing, slave? Out! Alpheus, leave us alone. But divine Lavinia, he's dangerous. They're animals, not men. Do as I say. As you wish, I will be outside. Call if you need help. Yeah. 
You are so good looking. I want you before you die. Because you will die. And you know it. I want to spend a night with you. The idea of making love with someone who is about to die excites me. What is it? Don't you like me? <clears throat> so insolent. But I like it that way. You're really in love, aren't you? <laughs> Helen, you've always been my favorite. Which is why I'm telling you now to forget him. Lavinia has set her eyes on your handsome gladiator. And if she even suspects that Darius is in love with you, she will have you killed and I won't be able to stop her. But what's happening? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Look, I'm a reasonable person. If two of my slaves fall in love, fine, because I'm convinced they'll be happier and live longer. I'm no tyrant, but in your case, I'm telling you, forget him. You are so good to me, and I would do anything to please you. Forgive me, I can't. I can't. Another blow like that, and it'll be all over. He hasn't won yet. It's a pleasure to see you again. Albius. Stop. <laughs> Alcus, my friend, come, drink with me. You should be careful with the local wine, my friend. It can go straight to your head. You should know, shouldn't you, you old scoundrel? anymore, Consul. I like her far too much. I'll tell you a secret, my friend. I'm in love with the girl, but she wants nothing. 
Do you want me to take her back? No. Then I don't understand. I think you do. You owe your wealth to being as cunning as a fox. She will be mine. Or no one's. No. I don't believe you're capable of that. Don't underestimate me. Why, who do you think taught Lavinia to be so cruel? Me? somebody else for me to fight. Someone who will excite the crowd. And then another, another, until the end. It can't be. And then how? <clears throat> Don't you see what's happening, Helen? Open your eyes. There is no future for us here. There is no future. We must escape. We don't belong to each other. We are the property of our owner. And if they catch us, they will crucify us like I'm already a walking dead man. Decide. We have little time. I can't decide. Then we must end this, Ellen. We must end this. What you were saying can't be true. Why this change? Today you won in the arena. And that's a good sign. Yes, today I won. But tomorrow, a gladiator is doomed. Someone who's about to die. Someone with no future. You have a visitor, gladiator. At this hour? Some hours are better than others. Who has come to see him? What is it to you, slave? Return to your room. And you, hold out your hands in no trouble. Get out or I'll have you whipped. Move, gladiator, move. Tonight is your night. Unshackle him. Come on. <laughs> Do I frighten you, gladiator? Sit down. Sit down. Tell me, don't you like me, gladiator?
Oh, Lord. Why didn't you listen to me? Why did you have me be born? To suffer this evil? To live so miserably? Why? stars in the sky tonight are there as many stars in the sky in your land yes my lord on a clear night there are thousands and thousands tell me about yourself how did you fall into the clutches of Alpius Flaccus he bought me I know that but why were you there I made it out of Jerusalem during the destruction. <laughs> yes, Titus. <laughs> he can be very heavy-handed at times. And then... I took a trip. But a wrong one, and some pirates sold me. And so a princess from Judea became a slave. Until one day, a Roman consul fell in love with her. What are you saying? It's true. Don't you understand? I want you. I'm yours to do as you wish. Not in that way. <laughs> do I disgust you? No. You hurt me. I can make you a queen, but... I must have obedience. And I want you to stay away from that sect. I didn't hear you. I promise. Be careful, Maria. Have nothing more to do with them, or you'll know my fury. Now come, our first night of love. Rather early to be going out, my dear. I wanted to go for a walk. Save your excuses for the consul. Who hasn't been himself since you bewitched him? Well, I will go back. Hmm. Far too easy. I have another idea. We'll tell the consul I caught you sneaking off to visit your Christian friends. And against his precise orders as well. That is not where I was going. We shall see. We'll wake the consul. 
He hates being woken up at dawn. Come. My lord, protect us. What's wrong, Helen? Why'd that look on your face? Darius lied to me. Lavinia summoned him and he ran to her without hesitation. I don't believe in his love anymore. You're just guessing, imagining the worst. You shouldn't. You should give him the benefit of the doubt. Hello. I don't see Maria. Save us. She might not be able to come. The new consul doesn't believe in the freedom of faith, you heard him. Release us. And he doesn't like Christians in particular. So, brothers, we can begin. Don't you worry, Antoninus. <laughs> I know. What do you know? That you love her. <laughs> I don't need my eyes to see that. <laughs> my mind is aware. Protect us, Lord. Have mercy on us, So, that's what an oath means to you Christians. I was going for a walk, that's all. At dawn? I'll tell you where you were going. To a cave. In the heart of the mountains. To plot an uprising. Isn't that right, General? Indeed it is, my lord. Take the Legion and the rest them. Every single one of them. It's time they understood who commands here. We pray, my lord. How can you imagine that we would wage war against Rome? We are the poorest of wretches. Yes. The perfect word for you. Wretches. And that's how you'll be treated. Say to it, General. As for you, I will spare your life this time, but you will have to regain my trust. Soldier! Take her to the servants' quarters and make sure she stays there. Yes, Caius. Pompeii. You're all under arrest. Stay calm, brothers. There's nothing they can do to us. We'll see about that, old man. Take him away. Come on. Man, look, what are you doing? Can't you see he's blind? Damn you. You want a bloodbath? I'll be only too happy to oblige. If not, Get against the walls, all of you! Now! Against the walls! Obey orders! Don't resist them! Peace! Peace! What will they do to us? Come on, old man! Against the wall. You predict the future. What will we do to you? Hmm? Rome will burn. And with her, the Empire. And her emperors. Shut up! <laughs> Take him away. My lord. We have crushed the revolt and arrested them all. I see. What is it that you wish to do, Consul? An exemplary punishment. Pity. Where are they? 
In the cells beneath the palace. Take me to them. May I come too? Of course. Meet again, old man. Mm. I'm uh, curious to know what will happen. The Lord has already decided, and nothing may be done against his will. Tell your Lord to show a sign. Mm. The charge against you is extremely serious. Do you think you frighten us with your threats? We are not afraid to die, if that is the Lord's will. Like his son on the cross. We are only passing through this world. You are the scum of humanity, a mortal disease. And I shall exterminate you. Your Alpheus is slain. We found her in the cave with the others, my lord. Alpheus is very fond of you. Then return me to him. Your master will be glad to have you back, and then he'll see you were properly punished. You mean to release her, my lord? Yes. No, wait. No, Galenus. I changed my mind. We have something different in store for her. What do you want from me? You will see. What brings you here? What do you want? May I speak frankly? Yes. You arrested some Christians. One of them is a slave of mine. She's poor, uneducated, but she has a big heart. And she's a good worker. She's been with me for 10 years. And I've never regretted a moment. Never had a problem. Really? <laughs> I had to promise Lavinia that your slave would receive special treatment. She will be given to the eels as a meal. You can't do that. We have a long friendship. I won't let you. One word from me, and you will meet the same fate. It's the same with all the fountains, my lord. What's going on? What was that? I don't know. What's going on? Answer me, Galenus. I don't know, my lord. Then find out. Bring me the keeper of the aqueduct. He's at the baths, consul. Let's go to him. What's going on, Lucius? Boiling water in the bath. It isn't normal. No, my lord, I've never seen anything like it. Very strange. I want to know who is responsible. Damn. This heat is unbearable. When will we have water again? I've already sent my men to check the aqueduct. There must be a break somewhere, and the water has been contaminated. Hmm. Sabotage. Could be. But, uh, who would benefit from such an act? I know who. And my baths? The baths aren't important at the moment. But Consul! Uh, if I may say, Consul, I think there is a connection. Uh, but I'll know more later, uh, after I've surveyed the system. I want to be informed at once. Yes, my lord. They poisoned our water. I want him crucified. 
The cross is their symbol, isn't it? Xerxes, take the toolbox to the aqueduct. We'll check the water. Hey, Lucius. Hmm? The ground is burning. Surely it isn't normal, huh? Strange. Lucius, hurry, come and see. Sulfur. Sulfur? Give me a container. It will do. Hot. Oh, how disgusting. It smells of rot. Oh, best. What does it mean, Lucius? What's going on? I don't know. It's a mystery. I've never seen anything like it. We must warn the consul. Urgent. trampled by this criminal? <clears throat> Take the horse. I must see Caius. It's urgent. On Vesuvius, the ground is boiling, and so is the river. Its surface covered with dead fish. And the same is happening on Mount Etna in Sicily. And because of these two dead fish, we should... Evacuate Pompeii? Yes, my lord. I fear the worst. Stop! Enough of your wild fantasies, Lucius. This land is used to earthquakes. And Vesuvius tends to flare up. It happens every year. There was a terrible earthquake some years ago. Now, Lucius, it's over. And you must stop your raving. But if they are condemned, there is a good reason. Don't do it. They're poor, ignorant, good-hearted. They'll never do anything bad. But that's exactly what they have done. I don't believe it. Well, believe. Or are you calling me a liar? No, my lord. You're not a liar. You are generous. Show your kindness and spare them. They'll love you. Don't kill them. I have already given the order. Don't do it, my lord. Don't unleash heaven's fury. Don't threaten me, or I'll see you suffer the same end. I wasn't threatening you. I kneel at your feet. Get out. Be afraid. God is merciful. Thomas, stay calm.
Oh